but long-term facilities like nursing homes and assisted living facilities have proven to be really, really dangerous if coronavirus virus, pardon me, gets in and then spreads. While no one's immune to the virus, people over 65 remain some of the most vulnerable to dying and even getting really, really sick. NBC6 investigator Phil Prazen reports the state continues to be very small on the details. He joins us live in Miami right now outside of an assisted living facility. It's where family members there have some, well, grave concerns. Well, yeah, this really is a serious situation because if you look at the state data just released today for everybody over the age of 65 that tested positive for COVID-19, 30% of them ended up in the hospital, 7% of them passed away, and that's getting family members to worry. Susanna Fiat's grandmother has dementia and is isolated in the residential plaza for elderly at Blue Lagoon. We don't have eyes and ears there to know did the nurse go in with gloves? Was the nurse wearing masks who brought her the, the meals? Management notified her that four residents and four staff tested positive for the virus. She's now taking her grandmother out to her aunt's home. So I can't imagine my grandmother having this at 84 years old with her underlying health conditions. Like, I just, I can't foresee her making it through. The Florida Department of Health reports of the 415 cases, almost 40% are in Southeast Florida, 70 in Miami-Dade, including seven at Jackson Memorial Long-Term Care Center, 49 in Broward, the site of a deadly infection at Atria Willowwood, killing seven, and 40 in Palm Beach County, where one in four people are over the age of 65. In a letter sent to Governor Ron DeSantis and Secretary Mary Mayhew of the Agency for Healthcare Administration, Miami Congresswoman Frederica Wilson calls on the state to release specifically which facilities throughout the state have reported cases. The letter is signed by 12 other Florida Congress members. The AARP has echoed the call. I challenge you to find another state that's even close with transparency. We have a debt, excuse me. When we, we asked Governor DeSantis about it, he did not tell us a change was in the works. It will remain only county numbers. In every daily report, the number of people, either staff or, in, or uh, somebody who lives in assisted living, uh, is listed by county. And Fiat tells us that the management here at Blue Lagoon is doing the best they can at being transparent and being safe. If you remember, Governor DeSantis issued those executive orders last month that limits uh, visitors into assisted living facilities. He also tells us that those new FAST tests are going to be prioritized to the assisted living facilities. Take, for example, family mem members tell us here that out of uh, hundreds of people who live here, there's been a random testing for about 91 people. A lot of people still are looking for tests here and other assisted living facilities across the state. Live in Miami, Phil Prazen, NBC6 News.